In the words of Freddie Mercury, who wants to live forever? Uh, answer, we do. Or at least like a couple hundred years, like just to see how it all plans out. Like does the world actually end in 50 years, who knows? Yeah. But also I'd like to look at least 25 years, like I'd like to look at least 25 years old for the period of that time. Too much to ask, I don't know. I wanna look like I'm maybe like 20 again. Yeah. 20 felt like some pretty good years. Yeah. Honestly, we're probably both asking for a lot, but maybe we can all take a lesson out of whatever lifestyle these guys are living, because today we are gonna look at the top 10 animals that can't die. Welcome back to Bumblebee, everyone, and I'm your host, Rachel Fisher. And I'm your host, Dewey Stew, and I hope you're all ready to see some sweet, sweet, sweet animals that just won't die. Starting us off at our number 10 spot, we have hydras. No, not the evil villains from the Marvel Universe. I'm talking about these small water-based creatures found in the fresh waters of Europe, Asia, and the Americas. There are between 20 to 30 different species of hydra, and they are one of the 900 species belonging to the phylum Cyndaria, which are radially symmetrical invertebrates with tentacles. But the really cool part about these underwater creatures is that they are basically immortal. Studies show that these creatures do not show any signs of deterioration with age. They are able to continuously divide and regenerate new body cells and can basically keep themselves young forever. Remember that song Forever Young by Alphaville? It actually might be just about hydras, I think. Number nine, clams. Unless their lives are cut short by the yearly clam bake with your aunts and uncles, clams can actually live an absurdly long time for being that small. Some have even been found to be over a century old. Now to be fair, humans are starting to stretch that boundary too. We're trying our best. But considering how often clams are our food source, it's surprising. Like trees, clamshells also have rings on them, if you look carefully, that track how long they've been alive, which is how scientists can tell how long they've lived. Therefore, the bigger they are, the longer they have lived. They can weigh up to several hundred pounds and be as large as a yard across. The oldest clam ever found was named Ming Ming, and though she was only the size of an average human palm, she was about 507 years old, which is like, what? Does size matter? At our number eight spot, we have the rough eye rockfish. Pretty crazy name, right? Well, they get the name because of the spines that go along the bottom of their eyes. Kind of a rude name when you think about it. But these bright and intensely colored fish can be found in the Pacific Ocean, ranging from the northern part of Japan and Bering Sea, all the way to the North American coast down to California. Odds are, you won't get a chance to see any of these creatures unless you do a deep, deep dive because they live and spend most of their time at around 170 to 660 meters below the ocean surface. That's 560 to 2200 feet deep. These fish have been known to live over the age of 205 years old and mature much later on in their life. So that means they get to live most of their life looking young, fresh, happy, full of life with all their hopes and dreams ahead of them. <laughs> uh, must be nice. I mean, honestly, I can kind of do that too. If I ever do a video with my beard shaved off, you will see a Dewey that looks like he is 12. <laughs> Number seven, the Aldebaran giant tortoise. The oldest Aldebaran giant tortoise known to man passed away in 2007, and she was 255 years old, superseding her first owner, Robert Clive, who died at the age of 49 in 1774. Robert Clive was the first British governor in the Bengal presidency and was given Adwaita as a pet. It is not uncommon for Aldebar tortoises to live through centuries, and some even suggest that there have been ones twice as old as Adwaita who have existed. They only reach maturity at 30 years old, so they age as slowly as they move, it seems. They also can go long periods without food and aren't picky eaters. They can eat almost anything from vegetation to dead carcasses to even feces. Ugh. With their ability to thrive on both land and water, on top of having a very hard shell to protect them from predators, this species is the poster child for the phrase, slow and steady wins the race. At our number six spot, we have the tree weta, also known as zombie bugs, or also also known as Dewey's worst nightmare. These bugs are ridiculously resilient to freezing and have special proteins within their bodies that prevent freezing from ever actually occurring. Although their hearts and brains are not as resilient to freezing, they can die when being completely frozen. But guess what? When they thaw out, they can come completely back to life like the disgusting zombie-like creatures they are and scare Dewey back into his protective bunker away from every single scary bug on the planet. I've mentioned it before, Dewey doesn't do bugs. But you know what Dewey really doesn't do? Zombie bugs! 
Number five, glass sponges, not glass slippers. Don't let the name fool you. These sponges are anything but fragile. Forget centuries. These creatures can live for thousands of years, even in the 10,000s. But for a while, they were thought to have gone extinct. Joke's on us. Goes to show how much we know about the ocean, which, by the way, isn't a lot. It's like less than 30%. In 1987, a team of Canadian scientists discovered a cluster of living glass sponge reefs over 9,000 years old. So if they can live and thrive for so long, why are they called glass? Well, they get their name from their spicules, which are tiny, sharp structures made from silica, a kind of glass. They feed off of plankton and other small sources of food and can filter enough water in 60 seconds, get ready, to fill an Olympic-sized pool. They also don't look appetizing and mostly serve as homes to other kinds of fish and crustaceans. Though starfish tend to like to feed on them now and then. It's pretty sad. Coming in at our number four spot is one of my favorite things to eat, lobster. Or as a much more fun name, the Homerus Americanus. Sounds like gladiator. I am Homerus Americanus, are you not entertained? Scientists have discovered that through time, some lobsters can increase their fertility due to a certain enzyme called telomerase. This enzyme repairs the lost sections of DNA, making the aged cells revert back to being young again. Though this would seem to make these creatures immortal, the exact lifespan of these creatures is difficult to determine because of the regular molting of exoskeletons. Aside from that, they only have one major predator to fear, and that is me. If you like this video and you are new to our hive, make sure to like and subscribe. We love you for it, and uh, one day, hopefully, we'll all be able to hug you. I don't know. I hope so. Number three, bowhead whales. There must be something about the cold climate of the Arctic because it seems like some of the biggest creatures live there, including the bowhead whale, who, by the way, is not only massive, but can live for over two centuries. They are one of the most well-adapted creatures who live in the Arctic with an insulating layer of lubber over a foot and a half thick without humans being the hunters. Given that they are some of the biggest creatures, nothing can really threaten their existence. But beyond that, the reason they can live for so long is due to their unique genetic makeup that allows them to repair their own damaged DNA. They also age slower in general, similar to the tortoise we talked about, and they only reach sexual maturity around 25 to 30 years old. So even though time takes its sweet time killing them, humans don't, and they are under the endangered species list. Coming in at our number two spot is the Greenland shark. Known as the longest living vertebrate on Earth, this shark lives an average of 272 years old. They also don't reach sexual maturity until the age of 150 years old. Now, how can they live so long? Well, with their incredible resilience to cold water, darkness, and living at depths of 2200 meters, I'm guessing most of these sharks won't have much competition down there. This shark is actually from the prehistoric era, which is proven by an extra gill that it has on its body. So not only do these things live for crazy long periods of time, they were able to come out on top after the destruction of the dinosaurs. Man, these guys ain't playing. Number one, Teratopsis dorni. Imagine being able to decide like when you feel like getting younger, you know? <laughs> Too old, I'm gonna go back a few years, wow. When will we have that technology? Sounds impossible, but this specific kind of jellyfish can actually do this. When it reaches a certain age, it can begin converting its cells backwards in time. Mm -hmm. They aren't indestructible, they can still be gobbled up, but depending on how lucky they are, they could potentially live forever. The creature was first discovered in 1883 and has captured the curiosity of scientists ever since. After all, why wouldn't it? An animal that has figured out how to turn back the clock of time? Now that sounds super useful. These creatures are able to do this through a process called transdifferentiation. The cells begin to convert from one type to another, albeit very slowly. They aren't really aware they are doing it, since jellyfish don't really have brains. They simply survive by how their nerves respond to stimuli, kind of like when a doctor hits your knee with a hammer and you just kick something, it's involuntary. They have no idea how rare and how incredible they really are. Honorable mentions to tardigrades, the water bears, because they're really cute and weird, and they can also live forever. Thank you so much for joining us on Bumblebee as we reviewed our top 10 list of animals that can't die. Can't die, being that they probably got eaten up if they didn't live If they did long. die. But imagine how much of a boss you'd have to be to like live to 250 years and just not die. I mean, yeah, I don't, like, it's funny, because as much as I actually do want to live forever, there's part of me that goes, no, you have to get to a certain point where you're just like, come on, man. Like, wait, check's imaginary watch. When's, <laughs> when are we done here? Are we done cooking we, yet? Yeah, I can get that. Now. 
Uh, anyways, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Ask us questions. Yeah, Ask us it. questions about Rachel and I, because guess what? Fun fact, we went to school together. We did go to school together, mm -hmm. so. Cool, uh, thanks so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher. And I've been your host, Dewey Stewart, and we will see you all back here next time. And until then, buzz off.